everyone uh, welcome back I just shot two videos wearing the same shirt because I just did so that was the Alpha Hawk Duminator now it's not a review like I said my Alpha Hawk video I said maybe I will actually make a video on the top five best blasters you can give for person as gift suggestions so first before we go to number five let's go to some honorable mentions What should I get? Okay. So here are some. I have eight best blasters. Maybe I should get another one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So here are some blasters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here are some, but they're all mega. Um, this is one. This is the new Mega Big Shock. If you're wondering why is there a rival round in here, why is this recommended? Well, it's much cooler now that I can fire rival rounds. I've modded it and check this out. This is a rival round. I just fired it. You don't believe me? Check this out. That was horrifyingly scary. Okay, it's been modified. Uh, I just put a dart body inside. And it's stuck in there. I can just put a mega dart and pull it out, but I prefer it now that it fires rival rounds. That's why this is on the list. Uh, I don't recommend it for the mega darts. Mega darts, I will recommend the next blaster. Um, this one is good for rival. So, yeah. Uh, the next honorable mention is the Cyclone Shock Mega small the same size as a magnus i prefer this than a magnus because it still has that slide even though it doesn't have slam fire like the strong arm but it has a six dart rotating cylinder comes with six darts which is twice the capacity of the magnus and this comes with a mag magazine built in so nothing else to point out this is a very good gift if you want to give someone even though, even though it's using Mega Darts, like I got this when I was 9, it was one of my first Nerf Blasters because it was the only Springer they had at Toys R Us at that time. The rest shot Nerf League Darts, but they were all motorized blasters, very big. But this is a good buy as well. But you can't really find these in stores, I don't know why, but they're still good. So, let's go to number 5. <laughs> So coming in at number five, we have two blasters, the strong arm and the rough cut. So we'll go on to the strong arm first. Six darts, like an alpha hawk, spectre, whatever you wanna say. It has that cool, this is the elite maverick version, as the six dart popping out revolver. And then you have tactical rails. Nothing else to point out, but the best thing is a slam fire. Mine's not broken, it, it, it just don't want to do a slam fire. But that's why it's number, uh, number five. It's a very good blaster. And we also have the rough cut. This is like an only, it's a shotgun. For you guys who like shotguns, not really a big fan of them because you don't have very good accuracy or groupings. But the best thing about this is it has slam fire just like the strong arm. That's the only things I have to say which are very good about these blasters, they have slam fire. So let's go to number four. So coming in at number four, yeah, yeah I think you've seen this, this is Hyper Fire. Well, this is one of the best blasters you can get, but why is it number four? It's a very expensive blaster for for what you can, it's a very, you get lots of things, you get a drum that holds 25 darts, you get 25 darts obviously because it comes with the drum, and then if you're wondering, this is my camera mount, it's full auto, which means all you have to do is pull the red trigger, then you pull this trigger, and it just sprays full, and, but once you're out of batteries, you have to buy some 
Um, the batteries are quite expensive, and I don't know any rechargeable except for the rival ones. But the chaos, why is the why isn't the chaos on this list? One, it's a bit too big, and most of the time, little kids or grown ups sometimes buy this, but a grown up can only use that. I, I'm 12 years old. Rivals for 14. That's two years gap. Um, I got that one last year when I was still 11, but you know what I'm talking about. That thing is still too big for little kids. So is this, but my little sister is so young, she can shoot a hyper fire. So a hyper fire is a good buy and it's the easiest blaster. If you want to give a blaster to a little kid, teach it not to aim at the eye, always give it some eye protections, but just teach them to pull this, pull this. Much easier than semi auto, but yeah, so this is number five, the Nerf Hyper Fire. So, hey, I'm with number five. Number four, that was number four. Moving on to number three. So, number three is this. Yep, I made a video on this as well. Why is this number three? The Alpha Hawk. It's a very big blaster, a very affordable one. Why isn't the Doomnator in this list? It's rare. That's why I have to say it's rare. I rarely find the Doominator at Toys R Us or any other shop. Usually I can just find one or two of the Doominators and then that's all. Maybe it's very famous and when I saw the Doominator at Toys R Us on sale, well it wasn't on sale. Toys R Us had a sale but it wasn't on sale. Uh, on sale. It was the only one left. So I had to buy it. Um, so this is number three because it's affordable, it's big, if you want someone to feel like they want to be a sniper, they want to be a soldier, this looks more like a war practical gun, and yes it is, it has five darts, okay, so it's enough, it holds enough rounds for a beginner, but if you want to buy something for a first nerfer, like he just started playing with guns, and then the best thing you can get is a single fire, but um, maybe a jolt or what, maybe you can give him that or that big shock is great. So yeah, number three is this. So moving on to number two is the Apollo. This one as well is in arrival line. This one maybe I'm recommending for those who are 12 and above. Nerf says for 14 and above, I think 12 years old can already use this. Because I can already prime this thing. And seven rounds. Amount of, decent amount of cap cap capacity. It's a, it's a well, if this buster suits my size, but like when I got it out of the box, I was expecting it to be smaller, but when I open it out, this is ex it's bigger than I expected, which is good. Um but I, I won't recommend these for ten years old. So I've seen ten years old in YouTube. Some of them can prime it, but it takes very, very, well, it takes a lot of amount of force. Because this is a very heavy prime. See? Oops. There we go. See? It's very easy to prime. 12 years old. That's me. But why isn't it number one? Well,. It's a bit expensive. Well, not that expensive, but it's a bit. The price is a bit higher compared to this, and this thing is much bigger. Even though it comes with five, this comes with an extra two, and it shoots balls. But the rounds, if you want to buy the original stuff, don't buy them. Um, like if you want to buy Nerf darts or this, much better if you can just buy them online, where you can get a lot more and they're really cheap. And this is totally different compared to Nerf. Elite or Mega, what you usually find in stores. So number two is the Apollo. And then you guys are probably thinking, what can be number one? If the Hyper Fire is one of my favorite blasters, so it is my favorite. What can be better than my favorite blaster? It has to be affordable. It has to be fun, small, can be big. But to me, it has to be motorized. So what is the number one blaster? Yep, you guessed it. Wait, no, maybe you didn't, but maybe you somewhat did. The number one is the Strife. 
Why is this strength? Well, not the stock. The stock didn't come with strength, but this is the module stock. You can get this. It's an okay gun. But let's talk about the strife. The strife is fully automatic. Not fully automatic. It's semi automatic. Yeah, it's, it uses flywheels. You have to pull this. Then you can pull this. And then it takes double A so it's really light. And you can just use it as a pistol. And then you can buy two of these. They're really affordable. If you're using an American, if it's in US dollars, it's around 30 US dollars. And here in Malaysia, it's around 100 something um, Malaysian ringgit. But this is a great bastard. The only thing that I am not happy is that since this is so affordable and it's the cheapest flywheel blaster you can find out nowadays, it's so rare just to find this thing. The only the only place I can site I, I can only see this is in the internet, but you are in the internet internet I rarely see the strife. And I got this in twenty sixteen and last time 2016 early 2017 i still saw the strife and then boom this is the only one so if you guys are asking me like my cousin the other day i gave her a nerf blaster which was the retaliator like i said in my arsenal video i don't think i want to give this away this is so rare nowadays but i hope nerf won't stop making this like the raven they stopped for a while then they made it again the raven fire but, uh, I don't know, the Strife is the most, well, it's our best friend. Who is our number one best friend in Earth? The Strife. Oh, uh, click like, this, click like for this video, if you agree that the Strife belongs in number one. So, that's all, and if you want to see where I Keep all my nerf blasters. They're all over the floor. So that was the end of the video. Top five honorable mentions. All these blasters, I 100% fully recommend you to give them to your buddies out there or your children or what. Like if you're an adult, maybe there will be a video for Christmas or what. But I think you should watch this video because most of the times those guys want to make gifts, uh, looking for gifts, and then you guys, some of the YouTubers, they usually put on the latest blasters. Most of the time, most of the time when it's still new, they're not on sale, which makes it a little pricier. If you uh, want something that's more affordable, Christmas or any other holidays, seasons, they always put on sale, especially for older products like the Hyperfire. This may sound crazy, maybe a bit crazy, but I last if you know the Hyperfire in US dollars is around fifty to sixty US dollars. Um, if I if I'm correct, um, I got it for one hundred ninety, which was quite quite affordable, just cheaper than the Apollo, which cut. With a I think it means around 40, 30 to 40 US dollars. So that's what happens if it's on sale. So that's why I'm choosing these blasters. One, they're easy to find. Two, well, it's on the I'm not sure. Um, two, they're affordable when it's on sale. Three, since it's not the latest, they'll be always on sale. So always get these blasters. Um, they are only three things, but yeah. Like a big shot, you can just mod it. So, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this video. Super long. I didn't expect it to be this long. But, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you. See you next time. Oh, yeah, hold on. The Sling Fire isn't in this video because it's rare. That's it.